Hello everybody and welcome back to Advanced Maths. Today we're looking at some Grade 7 Plus exam problems on 3D shapes. Before we begin, you should be very familiar with your equations for volume and surface area of 3D shapes. And it will also help to know a little bit about 3D trigonometry as well. I have a playlist on this and I will link that in the description below uh, for you to watch if you're not confident on this already. However, if you're really happy, let's have a look at some of these advanced exam style questions. Example 1, a tank is filled with water, sand and air. The tank is 3 quarters full of water and sand. The ratio of water to sand is the ratio of 4 to 1. Look at how much water, sand and air is in the tank. Well, we're going to start by working out the volume of the entire tank. And to do that we're just going to do base times height times length. Multiply the measurements together and we get 32,000 centimetres square cubed. Three quarters of this is water and sand. So let's multiply by three quarters and we get 24,000 centimetres cubed. That is shared in the ratio of four to one. So four shares and one share. We'll start by dividing it by five and we get 4,800 uh, 4, centimetres cubed. That's one share. And then four shares is four times more, which is 19,200 centimetres cubed. That corresponds to water and sand. And the air is the amount of space left over. The 32,000 minus 24,000 is 8,000 centimetres cubed. And there we have it. The sand, water and air volumes inside the tank. Let's look at example 2 now. A cylinder has a radius of x centimetres uh, and a height of 2x two two centimetres. A cone has a radius of 2x centimetres and a height of h. The cone has a volume 3 times larger than the cylinder. Find h in terms of x. Give your answer in its simplest form. I would recommend pausing the video now and trying this yourself. How far can you get with this question? Have you had a go? I'll now show you my working out. The first thing to talk about is this phrase here, h in terms of x. That means we find an expression for h where the only variable is x in the expression. Some examples might look like this. h is 2x or h is 5x plus 3. Those are expressions for h in terms of x. But we're using the information from the question, so let's work out the volume of the cylinder in terms of x and the volume of the cone in terms of x and h. And then after that, we're going to realise that the volume of the cone is three times the volume of the cylinder, as it says in the question. The volume of the cylinder is given by pi r squared h, where and the volume of the cone is a third pi r squared h. These are equations given to you in your formula booklet. We replace the radius and the height with the radius and height from the picture. And we simplify and we get 2 pi x cubed. Now for the volume of a cone, we replace the radius with 2x and the height with h. Which becomes like this. And 2x squared is the same as 4x squared. 2x squared in brackets, 2x squared in brackets is the same as 4x squared. That simplifies nicely to four thirds pi x squared h. We place that in our equation at the bottom. The volume of the cone is three times the volume of the cylinder, like this. That simplifies to be six pi x cubed. We divide both sides by pi, and that disappears. We divide both sides by x squared. x cubed divided by x squared is just x. Get rid of divide by 3, we multiply by 3. Get rid of the times by 4, we divide by 4. We get 18x over 4, which simplifies to be 9x over 2, because we wanted our answer in the simplest form. And that is the expression for h in terms of x. And we've done. Now example 3. The sector shows part of a net of a cone. It can be rolled into the shape of a cone. Calculate the height of the cone, calculate the volume of the cone, and calculate the surface area of the cone. 
Again, I'd like you to pause the video now and try this question yourself. See how far you can get this question. When you're ready, I'll show the answers. Well, the first thing to realise here is that the net of the cone looks like this. It's a circle and it's a sector. Okay. And this shows us the sector that is the curved part of the cone when it all folds together. And the outside, the arc length of the sector, uh, will wrap around the circular base of the cone. And so the arc length of the sector will be the same length as the circumference of the circle on the bottom. We're going to use this to solve this question. So let's find the arc length of the sector. And we do that by doing theta over 360 times 2 pi r. Which simplifies to be 24 pi centimetres. The red length here is 24 pi centimetres. And that's the same as the circumference of the base of the cone. So you can imagine the smaller the circumference of the base of the cone will look like this. And that's it in 3D. So it's the circumference is 24 pi. And that's equal to 2 pi r, where the r is the radius of the circle on the bottom. We divide by uh, 2 and we divide by pi. And we get the radius is 12 centimetres. The radius of this circle on the bottom is 12 centimetres. Now this is going to help us find the height of the cone because we can think of this as a right angle triangle where the radius, which is 12, goes there. And we also know the slant height of the cone because that's the radius of the sector when we, uh, when we folded it up. So that slant height is going to be 20 centimetres because that goes from the uh, centre of the sector to the outside of the sector in a straight line. We can now use Pythagoras theorem uh, to work out the height. Because it's a right angle triangle, we can use Pythagoras theorem. We rearrange, and we simplify, and we square root. And we get the height is 16 centimetres. So that height is 16 centimetres. We now have all the important measurements of that cone. We found the height, now let's find the volume. The volume will be given by a third pi r squared h where r is 12 and the height is 16. Tap into the calculator and you will get 768 pi centimetres cubed. It's fine to leave your answer in terms of pi. Now the surface area of the cone, we need to think about the net of the cone, which is a sector and a circle. So we'll find out the area of the circle and the area of the sector and add them together. The equation will look like this. Pi, radius of the circle squared, plus theta over 360, radius of the sector squared. So shoot those numbers in, like this. And we type this into our calculator, and we get 384 pi centimetres squared as the area of this, the surface area of this cone. And we've done. Those are my three examples for today. I hope you found them useful. You may want to rewind that video and watch those examples again. If you're confident, you might even want to retry those questions yourself. Now you see me do it, it's time for you to try from memory. Thanks for watching. If you'd like more resources, go to advancedmaths.com to help with your maths revision. Good luck in your exams, and bye for now.